What's up, my boss family? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to turn these household tubs into outdoor ponds so you can breed some fish or just do what you want with them. So stay tuned. It's about to be a pretty cool video. Guys, welcome back to the channel. So today... We're working on the outdoor pond. I haven't been talking about these guys, but I decided today to be a good day. It's a beautiful day outside. The sun is shining, so this would be a cool day to talk about this. So these are my homemade DIY ponds that I made out of just um, baskets that you can get at Walmart, Home Depot, you know, any place like that. And they hold water. They work really good. They last a pretty good time and you can breed a lot of fish in them so as you can see i have my guppies in this tank this is housing my flamingo guppies right now and as you can see they're doing crazy in here they're breeding like crazy and there's tons of babies i also have some red uh cherry shrimp in here too that i've been breeding out and i'm hoping that they just go crazy and explode up in here but today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do this. So pretty much all you need is just a tub. If you got an old tub that you use for clothes or anything like that, you can literally take this outside and turn it into a pond. And you can see this one, I have this little circular clothes basket type uh, bucket here that has a bunch of babies that are in here growing out. Uh, these are my Cobra guppies. And then there's also a mixed breed in there too. But you can see this is doing phenomenal. I don't have to feed none of these ponds. They all ran off of just natural -ness. If you look closely, you probably can't see, but there's tons of mosquito larva in the water. So the fish are being, they got food 24 seven. And I don't have to come out here and feed these fish. And there's no filters. They get um, pretty much a water change from the rain. It rains a lot here. So it's always some water changes happening. These ponds are always overflowing. So there's always fresh water coming in. Now you can see the plant growth is just ridiculous. But today I'm working on this one right here, setting up a new one. I just added the, all the gravel and I added some algae, added some duckweed, and now I'm adding some of these hornworts in here that I took out the fish room. So pretty much I'm gonna be putting in, I haven't decided yet, either I have some guppies that need to grow out, I could throw them in here or I could bring out some of my Molly breeding uh, pairs and bring them in here and, and see if they can take off in this tub. I think they will. And or I thought about even crossing a couple different species of Mollies, but we'll see as the rest of this video go on. But I just want to show you guys on how you can do this simple and easy. Don't go out and spend a whole bunch of money on tubs unless you want it to look aesthetically pleasing and not have an orange tub, a blue tub, and a clear tub on the side of your house. Um, you can do it like this, save some money, it's free. It ain't gonna cost me anything. All I did literally was just bring my fish outside and they're thriving. And this is a good place to grow uh, aquarium plants too. So say if you got some plants you wanna grow out, they're not doing good in your tanks, take them outside, sit them in a the tub. I guarantee they start to take off for you because it seems like everything does better outside, even the fish. Fish do better, the plants do better. The ecosystem is just better because you get the natural sunlight so it's just crazy, it's beautiful. I'm gonna let this guy fill up and then once it fill up, I will be right back. I got some more stuff I need to show you guys. Okay, so we back guys and went down to the fish room and I pulled out the sword tails that I wanna put into the pond. I got a trio of these guys and they already had some, baby. I know you guys have seen these in my fish room vlogs. That female don't look really too hot, so I hope she survives. Um, but the male, let me see if I can move this and there's some of this horn out the way. The male is extremely beautiful. You can see how that male look, beautiful fish. Um, so I'm gonna throw these guys in here with these guppies cause they have no uh, reason for them to produce, I mean cross. So I went ahead and got some extra horn work too to add over into this one since uh, that didn't have enough horn work. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this trio in here and see how they do. Like I said, they already produced for me, already had babies, so should be pretty easy to keep these guys going. Just 
pretty much just add them. Got all the babies out, yep. Let's hope now they're in here with these guys and I'm sure they will start producing soon. Look at that uh, red shrimp right there. Just chilling. Go ahead and get the next bunch of fish that I want to bring out here and they're going to be going into that pond, so stay tuned. Guys, we back and we got the second batch of fish and shrimp and all type of stuff, so so you can get a closer look. I brought out a bunch of my beautiful guppy babies. Um, these guys come from a really beautiful strand, a Japanese blue strand. They haven't got any color yet, but hopefully they can get some good color being out here in the sun. But I also grabbed a trio of these mollies that I had, these swordtails mollies. And then there also, you can see there, there's, there's little shrimp in there. So I got a couple shrimps that I had left over because I didn't lost the rest of my yellow shrimp. They just like disappeared. I don't know what happened to them, but hey, they just died off. But I got a couple shrimp still in here, some mollies. It's like a trio of those mollies in here and then the guppies. So they're gonna be going over here into this new pond and hopefully they just, everything thrives out here, which I think it will, you know, over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these plants out of here and put them in the pond. This hornware is going to take off out here. I'm more excited about that than I am the fish, to be honest. Cause I mean, I have some hornwork that I can sell. Go ahead and get these guys in here. Let's not waste any more time, man. Super excited about this one right here. Make sure we get everything in there. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Alrighty. Still some guppy babies in there. Get all those out. Get all these snails and stuff out of here because we need the snails. Gotta have snails. See one of these shrimps, he's just up here chilling. What up, shrimpy shrimp? And it's supposed to be a gold shrimp, but look at him. He got like, a, he's like goldish brown, maroonish red. You can see there's already mosquito larvae in there. So these fish are gonna be absolutely amazing there. I don't see the sword tails. Oh, they back over there chilling. Hope they do good. This water should be good for them. We're gonna let these guys chill and I will give you some updates over the next week or so on how these uh, ponds are doing. I'm gonna put the tops back on and then we're gonna head down to the fish room and I'm gonna show you what's going on in the fish room. Stay tuned. We're back in the fish room. Give you guys a little pan. I know you guys love to see the fish room. It's always lit. I just came down here turning some of these lights on. I give you guys a little walkthrough after I show you what I got. But I got something cool down here for this tank right here. So let's just take a look. Let me turn this humidifier off behind me so it don't be so loud. Okay, so today we picked up a awesome fish and we visited a super awesome store today that I'm gonna be going back to and doing a full tour of very soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But today we picked up these beautiful African cichlids. Uh, these are the females and these, and this is the male. Now I'm, I know I'm gonna butcher the name, but it's called like Soli or something like that. Maybe you guys can correct me in the comment section. Uh, but the males are this blue and the females are this beautiful yellow. So I picked up a trio of these today. I'm super excited about this fish, like every other fish I get. Um, the male really ain't showing good color right now, but he has a re he's really dark. But they're gonna be going into this 20 gallon. These are the tank that I had all those babies in there. I had all those uh, guppy babies in there, so I took all the guppies out of there. And we're gonna be adding these guys in here. So I'm gonna let them just chill in there and acclimate, and then we'll add them to the tank. But I guess I can go around and show you a little update on what's going on in the fish room. Also, I know you guys like to see that type of stuff. So the Williams blue lips are looking good, as always. These fish are looking amazing, as always. I really want to take these guys outside, but I don't want to go in there and try to 
pull all the babies out because you see how this decor is it'd be a job trying to tear that down and it's beautiful and i love how it is i don't want to really disturb that everything else this tank is doing good as always update on the fish i never looked back in here if you guys watched last uh yesterday's video we have seen i had a dilemma with this tank so i haven't done any research on it nor have i worked with it but i will soon uh, off camera get that in order this tank is doing good i want to put these black mollies outside too but can't catch them without destroying this tank so they're just gonna chill in here with this guy i know somebody in the comment section told me that i had said the name wrong i'm sure i probably did um you know i'm human i get i make mistakes that's why i got you guys y'all can correct me in the comment section let me know when i'm wrong i don't feel bad about it trust me because i'm not i don't know everything and i don't want to act like i know everything so always help me out if i get the names wrong with the fish but might put those guys out there get some more of them or see if I can cross breathe them with my other mileage. Just, you know, I like to play around with stuff. That's the whole part of the hobby, right? You gotta play. But this pond right here, after shooting the video yesterday, I noticed that there are still babies. So there's, I'm sure you guys ain't gonna be able to see it, but they're African cichlid babies. I have no clue where they came from, which two are the parents. And I'm sure I won't know until they grow up and get a little bigger. You can see some right here, actually. Yep, so. That's going on. So what I've decided to do with this, and I've been thinking, thinking, and thinking, and thinking, and thinking about it. And I decided that, like, with me having all these African cichlids, and they're going to be breeding like crazy, and I still have other guppy strands and stuff like that. What about if I turn this into, I know I said I want to do a koi pond, and I have plenty of room over there to still do stuff. So stay tuned for that. But this pond in particular, since it's already ready to go, it's seeded, I can just start throwing babies in there. So a lot of these females that I got, these African cichlids, they already holding babies. So what about if I just start stripping the females and stripping them right into here, putting their babies right into this pond. And then like these guppies, I can take their babies and put the babies in here too. I can get like some PVC pipes and then with rock and then have a whole bunch of hornware floating around at the top. So that way there's plenty of cover for the guppies and then there's cover for the baby cichlids because cichlids and, and live bears can go together if the situation is right. You gotta have a lot of hiding spots, but cichlids and live bears can definitely breed and cause this together. So I'm thinking about putting all the baby uh, African cichlids that I strip, start, start throwing them in there, start throwing them in, throwing them, let them grow out in this, and then as they get bigger, we'll pull them out, put them in tanks, sell them, do what we're gonna do with them, right? So let me know in the comments, what you guys think about that? I think that'd be a super awesome pond instead of having, cause if I do koi in this pond, I'm gonna have to add filtration. I have to do a lot more. I ain't gonna be able to just run a sponge filter. But with babies, I can run a sponge filter, which I need to hook it back up. It's not even hooked up right now. With this, um, with the sponge filter, I can run like guppies and molly babies and African cichlid babies in here off of just that sponge filter and got a nice heater. But anything bigger, like some koi, I'm gonna have to have some proper filtration, which I don't have right now. So I think that'd be the most realistic thing for me to do and cause I can always upgrade later. This channel is always growing. We're gonna keep growing. So don't think because we ain't got something today, we ain't gonna have it tomorrow. So that's my plan. That's my plan. But I've been down here working. Look at these guys. Gotta show them on camera. It's a must tank is all the glass is all cloudy you can tell they've been in here look at been here kicking up dust so it's super dusty right now but i've been down here still doing some work trying to get this stuff situated so i got two plans over here i remember in one video i said oh i'm gonna put a tv up do all that but nah my tv is my fish tanks so that's gonna be getting set up i got my buddy coming this weekend we're gonna be setting a hundred gallon up over here that's gonna be pretty lit and that leaves room, I think it's about six feet right there. That's, that really is room for either ponds. We can do ponds because think about it, the ponds outside are going to eventually have to come inside for winter. So we can do ponds where I can grow out fish to sell, or we can have one big monster tank there, one big monster tank right here. And we'll see, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think because things are always changing in my mind. My mind is always changing. I'm always thinking about the next hot thing to do, so. Let me know. 
put this top back on and knocked it over. Let me know in the comment section. So now this tank is empty. I left the net in there and everything. This tank is empty. This is where those uh, sword tails was. So I have about two empty tanks now. I got, well, three. I got this 10 gallons, a 10 gallon over there. And I got the pond empty. Then we got this 10 gallon down here empty now. So always moving stuff around to empty up some space to get more fish. These rusties. They're doing good. You gotta catch them when the light's off, they be all swimming, but when the light come on, they go running. Weird fish. But they still not adjusted yet. But things will get better. So yeah, that's pretty much it on today's. I should pull her out there and strip her right now, huh? If you guys want me to do that in a video, if you want me to make a video on how to strip these African cichlids and how to do that, leave a big like on this video and let me know. But yep, that's what we got today. We got these guys, beautiful fish. I'm gonna go ahead and add these guys and then in the next video, I'll give you an update on them and let you know how they're doing. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, as always, make sure you hit this like button and subscribe to my channel. If you learned something, share this video with your friends and family. If you just enjoy it, still share it with your friends and family um, because we're just trying to grow out here. We're almost at 8,000 subscribers. So let's keep growing, man, let's keep growing and keep building this family and keep bringing this fire content. So stay tuned. Catch you guys in my next video. I holla. Always got to show him at the end. Give you guys a little shot of the fish after I put them in there. Like I said, these are the two females and that is the male. Can't wait to breathe these guys out. But I holla.